Late last week, Google announced a few updates to the admin console for meet management and settings. And so I wanted to show you a couple of those things for those admins out there and also for those that want to help their admins uh, make it a little bit better for their domain. So if I go into the admin console and I am under apps and then Google Meet, which is part of the Google Workspace services, and then settings for Google Meet, uh, one of the topics is meet, meet safety settings. And you can set this up by OU, which is great because you may have, and you probably want to have different settings for your staff versus for your students. So let's run through a couple of these first. I'm gonna select staff. And so under domain, you can have a few settings here. Um, you can have all users, including those without a Google account. You can restrict it to just Google accounts or dialing in on the phone or only the users within your domain. Again, you may want to open this up a little bit more for staff, but then close it down for students. So you have that ability now um, through that Google Admin Console update. Um, also is the total access which meetings users can join. So this is if somebody else creates the meet and your users are going to join it. Again, staff, um, if they're having inter-district meetings or meeting with the DOE and everybody's using uh, Google Meet, it might be a good idea to have uh, any of the meetings, but obviously for students, you may want to restrict that down to meetings just created in your organization, depending on the level of the kids and what they might be doing. Um, joining, you can also just check off the quick access automatically. Of course, um, people who are managers of the Google Meet, those that did create it, whether that's in classroom or through Meet or calendar, um, they do have that ability to turn that quick access on or off, but this is sort of the default setting for admins. Uh, that you can do so quick access can be turned on and again that might be great for staff where it doesn't matter if the person who originated the meeting is first in or not when you're having a admin meeting or a building meeting with certain staff uh, but with students you probably don't want them jumping into a meet before uh, somebody's there to monitor it so that may be one of those things where you check it off for staff and not have it on for students if that makes sense and then host management of course this is who can start video calls with host management. Again, with staff, that probably is a given. You want that on. Uh, host management can restrict what participants who aren't the host can do on the call. So bumping people off and muting microphones, things of that nature, um, where again, the host management will override this, but this is the default setting from the admin console. I hope that makes sense. Those are some great new um, rollouts for the admin console. So tell your admins, if you're not one, uh, to take a look at those and make sure that the settings are appropriate for your organization. Hope that helps.